Gotta work them rear delts, bruh. Gotta work them rear delts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, please do not be that idiot. Call me Haymaker. Always going big. Yeah, you know the kid. Call me Haymaker. 95 or 95. What is up, guys? We're coming at you with our top three rear delt exercises that actually work. So I, like many of you, have probably struggled to find exercise that I actually feel in the right area that is my rear delt to help with development. Too many people just throw random exercises and don't really explain how they work. I'm gonna break them down to a T, show you guys some variations, and ensure that you're gonna be feeling that right contraction to get them bowling balls. Let's go. All right, number one, and this one is your staple, your go-to, this is my personal favorite. This is the face bolt. As you guys can see, I'm doing them here. Now, couple key things to look at. First and foremost, you need those elbows up. Keeping those elbows up is what's gonna actually engage the rear delt. You let them sink low and you're just gonna be doing a row that is gonna really work your traps and rhomboids. You wanna avoid that. So what you guys wanna do, if you can see here, is when I pull, I'm pulling, and I'm pulling my elbows back. I'm not pulling my hand, I'm focusing on that elbow, and then that is what's really gonna get me that squeeze in that rear delt. Now another thing to keep in mind with these, as you can see, is I'm doing a weight that is realistic. Too much weight will pull you forward, make you um, compromise on form, and that compromise will sometimes result in you working the wrong muscles and cheating your way through the rep. This one is all about contraction, contraction, contraction. I go high rep for this personally. Now if you can't feel the right contraction whatsoever, the best recommendation I have for you guys is try it with a band. There's a little bit less tension, you can play with it, and you can really just learn to do 30, 40 reps so you can actually feel it and learn how to do things properly. You shouldn't do exercises if you can't contract the correct muscle. Lastly, if you guys want to play around with angles, challenge yourself, you can see I am doing the seated face bowl here. This is a different range of motion. I'm going upwards as opposed to the downwards from the conventional cable. And this too is a killer. Play with your angles, play with your variations, and find out what works for you. What works for me, what works for Kyle, might not be the best thing for you personally. Just do whatever the heck gives you that crazy contraction. Cross arm rear delt. This is how I built my delts, I swear in it. Used to be hunched over. Rear delts will bring you right back, and this is the king of all exercises, if done correctly. You guys mess this up, simple example. You pull downward, and you get all lat activation, or you can really overcompensate by using your back. So to avoid this, we gotta make sure those arms are straight, and we're focusing on that contraction. This goes back to mind-muscle connection. I can just do a motion and feel nothing, or I can really work on ensuring that I'm gonna get that squeeze, really isolating that rear delt. You have three heads, you need to know how to use them. You have your anterior, posterior, and lateral. This posterior one is what we're aiming for. So you wanna be backwards, keep that arm aligned, don't let it go down, don't let it go too high, and just drill it into where you feel that contraction as you can see Kyle is executing perfectly. Keep those arms straight, don't sway that form, and just work them delts. Today we are doing single arm bent over rear delt flies. A lot of you guys don't realize this, but you need to be fully bent over to actually hit your rear delts. I like to have a nice pronated grip, and here's what I like to do. I like to start off with the weight down here, nice and controlled, go all the way up, and you'll really, really feel the squeeze in your rear delts. And this is something that Josh showed me and something that I've utilized into my workout routine. Control the weight, don't let the weight control you, and you guys will see phenomenal rear delt gains if you do these properly. One more quick tip for this, so you guys gotta actually know how these delts work. This is an anterior movement, this is gonna work the anterior head. Lateral movements will work the lateral head. Now to work your rear delts is a little tricky, I can't technically just grab a dumbbell and do something like this to actually engage it, right? So what you wanna do, is when you bend over, I'm not gonna do a full bend over, but I'm gonna show you the best I can. It's gonna be about here. Now the second I come back like this, I'm working my lat entirely. The rear delt is hardly involved, that is a waste of an exercise. So instead, you wanna come down, keep your arm aligned with your rear delt, and then come right up and work on that squeeze. I like to kind of cock my shoulder forward and really drill it into my rear delt. You gotta play with it, see where you feel it. Have a friend actually hold your arm when you push up and play with different positions of the arm and you'll see how it hits the different heads in a different manner. Alright guys, thanks for checking in. I don't have the stringer out today, I wish I did. 
Still got that sunburn, so I'm keeping on that t-shirt, repping my boys the Bills. Hopefully they kill it this season. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe if you're not already. Y'all are the best. We love you. Peace. I don't know. I just I don't know. Piggyback? Yeah. Right. Yeah, piggyback. Yeah. Yeah. Piggyback it is. All right. What's up, guys? If you're still watching at this point, you're clearly premium members of the Colossus Army, and we appreciate you so much. If you guys appreciate what we do and want to have a pivotal role in supporting and bettering us and helping us help other people, you guys can come over here to our Patreon and help donate. There's a monthly donation to help us grow with different pledge levels, with different rewards, where you guys can actually get rewards for pledging. And then the beauty of this is this helps us effectively make better videos, get better content, and produce, improve production quality all throughout. Thank you so much. Uh, any donation would help so much. If not, just keep liking, subscribing, and being awesome. Thanks.